Okay, so Mark, what is the extent of the public housing problem in Perth and in, do you know much about this area in particular? Well, in Western Australia, there's roughly 50 to 55,000 people awaiting public housing. A lot of those people are homeless, a lot are families with young children, a lot are elderly. Uh, we had at the beginning of the year roughly 700 houses empty around the state. So naturally, uh, it's very concerning that you have that level of houses empty and that number of people who are awaiting housing. 700 houses could potentially house uh, three, 4,000 people. Uh, and so, therefore, houses like this need to be fixed and reoccupied as soon as possible. It's not good enough to stay empty for three months. And do you know much about if, uh, if there are other houses in the area that are going like this, going empty? Well, you find them everywhere. Uh, the department won't release them, they won't give you the addresses. But in general terms, we know they're out there, and sometimes neighbours will identify them for you, as has happened here. Yeah. And this place here obviously would house a family. Andrew, what is the history of this house? Well, this is an unfortunate house. Um, the previous tenants uh, were evicted in uh, the beginning of April this year after they had uh, had a long history of a conflict with the next door neighbour in particular who were restraining orders against them, and not against the neighbour, yeah. against the people the here, uh, the tenants. Uh, there, there were threats of violence. Uh, there was uh, quite a lot, uh, a, a large fear campaign waged mm -hmm. against the next door neighbour uh, that ultimately led to the minister finally intervening and having uh, the uh, tenants evicted. So uh, that's gone on for a good two years. Uh, and ever since uh, that eviction took place, the house has sat here quite empty uh, and it's almost derelict if you have a look at it. And in your area, is there much of a housing problem? I don't, think, I don't think a week goes by where I don't have somebody in my office desperate for some housing. People who have sat on a priority waiting lists, that's just not the ordinary waiting list, the priority list for 18 months, two years. There are other people who are on the ordinary waiting list for up to seven years. Yeah. So they're waiting a long time for housing, they're desperate for anything, and then you know they, they come into my office, they, they often have a list of addresses, they say, this house is empty, this house is empty, why can't I get a place? Yeah. And this is just an example of where the government's dropped the ball. And so what would you like to see happen? I would like to see a clean-up crew in here tomorrow fixing this place up and a nice family moved in as soon as possible. It would help the, the area. It would, you know, discourage, you know, graffiti. As you see, there's graffiti down, down the roads. It would, you know, just brighten up the entire area and actually bring a bit of community back to the community. Excellent.